Hey, what's up guys? Eric here at Sergeant of Arms. So this is going to be our first video in our new video series that we're going to be doing. Uh, this was a barrier testing, uh, barrier ballistics testing with a 6 mil arc. We got hold of a car windshield for free and decided that we wanted to test something on it. So chose the 6 arc because it is the newest, hottest cartridge out there at this current time. Uh, everybody's wanting data on it. And you see data about terminal ballistics and exterior ballistics and internal ballistics, but we haven't seen anything about barrier ballistics yet. Um, so took the car windshield, set it up at 600 yards, put a 66% IPSC behind it. Uh, we were shooting our 20 inch uh, 6 mil arc Apex Predator light uh, with a KGM R6 suppressor on the front, uh, Vortex Razor Gen 2 sitting on top of it. We ran the 105 grain boat tail hollow point Hornady black ammo. We ran the 103 ELDX and the 90 grain ELDX. Uh, the 103 ELDX was the precision hunter factory ammo. 90 grain, of course, was hand loads. Pretty surprised at how well it did. Uh, the 105 boat tail hollow point actually was pretty much point of aim, point of impact. Um, we didn't see very much dispersion, a little bit of higher impact than what the point of aim was but it was still within one inch of the point of aim so happy real happy with that the 103s they kind of were a little more they weren't as great as the 105s were we're going to retest that just to kind of see maybe it was something odd maybe it was that lot of bullets not really sure what it, it was because um, typically tipped bullets have done better through barriers for us in the past um, than non-tipped but we'll try, try that again the 90 grain eldx though did really did better than the 103s and i think that may have to do with muzzle velocity not really sure um like i said we're going to do some more testing on it we just gotta get another windshield so all in all we were very happy with the results that we got um there are some misses in there i missed a wind call so bad on me um uh, light winds and light shifty winds kind of give me problems from time to time so but we did get a good bunch of range footage um, down range so you will be able to see impacts through the glass impacts on steel um, so let's hit the range go see that footage and leave us a comment let us know what you think of it and once again if you have something you want us to test or review let us know drop a comment in here so see you on the range